All right, guys, we're going on an adventure today. Uh, this is what we call honest reactions to my decisions in life in real time. I didn't bring my light or anything, so just a warning that the lighting is probably going to be awful. But um, I told you guys that I bought a townhouse at auction the other day and so today I'm going to see it for the first time this is legitimately my initial reaction I bought it sight unseen <laughs> so this should be really interesting um, I'm here and it's a cute little area it's a cute little complex if you see not too bad not too bad you know not bad older ish um, you know, need some TLC, could use a good coat of paint on the exterior, could probably use some better um, maintenance on the exterior of these buildings, on the landscaping, the condo dues, pay for the landscaping, so I'm not really too sure what's going on there. Board might be a little negligent, uh, I don't know, they may be a little questionable. I don't want to call anybody lazy or misappropriating funds, <laughs> but uh, you never know. I mean, the dues are low. They're only $150 a month, so, you know, you get what you pay for in life. But I think that those dues only go to cover, like, the general area. They don't do anything with like the exteriors of the building since these are townhomes you're responsible for everything it's not like a condo where you own from the uh drywall in don't mind the back of my car I just got done with work so i got a bunch of stuff back there because i used my car like a truck but you know i had told you guys that when i was watching the auction i could tell that the area like right by the unit looked like it had this huge thing of trees before the hurricane came in and then after I was like where the trees go pretty sure they fall on the house on the unit well I'm going to show you where this huge parcel of like forestry and trees was so you can see what it looks like now yeah <laughs> it's a nice open backyard you know because uh I think Hurricane Michael took that out. I don't know. I wasn't here before Hurricane, before the hurricane, but I did see the Google Maps before the hurricane, and that was like a huge situation, a huge situation of trees. But uh, don't mind my weird camera ness, my videography here. It's sunny, it's hot, I don't have any lighting. It is what it is. But yeah, pretty sure, pretty sure there were a lot of trees here and one of them fell on this. But uh, we're gonna go up here. We're just gonna walk in. Let's see. My boyfriend said he's been here. He's called. He's, it's locked. It's locked. He, he's been here and um, UPS envelope on the floor. He's been here and said that it was locked, the front door is locked, but you know what, I'm just an inquisitive person. I wonder if we have to cut the landscaping back ourselves or what here. We'll figure out real quick. A lot of them have little fenced in backyards, but we don't. So. This is where things get real interesting. I told you guys that this is legit a tree. Do you hear those dogs next to us? Because nobody comes here. But this is legitimately a tree fall on this. So check out. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is what I bought. This is legit. Now I told you this is my first time coming here and seeing it. But I literally... God, I hope there's not snakes in here. I freaking hate snakes. Just not a fan. I'm literally crawling over debris to get. Hold on. Hold on, guys. 
I mean, I'm sure the electrical's off. Yeah, just climbing over debris to get to the house. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this... <laughs> Okay, so let me just explain something. So when my boyfriend came here, he, uh, hello? Just wanna make sure there aren't like squatters or anything. I don't wanna have a gun on me or wish I did, but I don't. Hello? Okay. Anyways, here's better lighting. Let's sit and chat here. So anyways. <laughs> Um, after I bought this in the auction, I had my boyfriend run here. I was like an hour, hour and a half away, and I still had to wire the funds and everything. So he was closer to it. He was like 15, 20 minutes away. I was like, can you run there real quick? Just take a look. I mean, I already, the bid deposit was due before I bid. So I already paid the bid deposit, which is only a couple thousand dollars. I was like, how about you go check out the unit before I pay the remainder? Um, that way we can see if it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? So like we can eat $2,000 if it's not worth it. So he came here and he did take pictures and videos. So even this is my first time actually being in here with my own eyes in person, I did. he did send me pictures and videos, which I started dying laughing because the pictures were of this, right? Look at it. This looks like a normal situation. This is a bedroom, like there's obviously some type of water damage, that's why the carpet's up, I would assume. Other than that, I mean, it's not bad, not awful, right? Like everything needs to be repainted. Oh wow, you got some real water issues there, that ceiling's buckling. Ooh, buckling, buckling real bad. Um, but he sent me pictures of this, yeah look, you got water mold up here it's dark in the bathroom so you probably can't see but yeah the well, bathroom's not bad getting here i don't know if they didn't have insurance what happened here i don't know why somebody took the hot water heater out hold on yeah, so, um, interesting. I don't know, we might have a squatter in here. Very well could. Because look. <laughs> but yeah, look at this, look at this. Interesting. Interesting. This might be where the squatter's getting in through. Hold on, let me, let me try to secure. Oh, no. That window's locked. But anyways, my boyfriend sent me pictures of this, just looking, God, squatters have a real way of just finding, I mean, I get it, you're homeless and you got nowhere to stay, but my boyfriend sent me pictures. But you know what? I wonder if they freaking cut out that hot water heater to scrap, I don't know scrap some piping or something in it but anyways I keep starting the story and stopping it but um my boyfriend sent me pictures of this right like I was like wow this looks you know goodbye you know okay here's the second bathroom I thought the second bathroom might have been in the part that came down interesting little walk through Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But he, my boyfriend sent me the pictures of this. Nice master. And I was like, hey, that was a pretty good buy, right? And then he sends me videos of the part that the tree fell through, which is literally cinder blocks, like everything's fallen through, just crazy, right? And I'm like, is he messing with me? What's that part that looks good, is that just a joke? And it's really just all caved in? You know, I'm like, what, what? So I had to call him. He's like, no, no, there's one half that's good. And then there's another half that literally, you know, tree fell through. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I was dying laughing though. Like I thought it was the funniest thing, but you know what? It's not too bad because um, it's not too bad. Could be worse. 
<laughs> at least half of it is intact. Uh, it's interesting. This is going to be an interesting project. I wonder why they pulled that hot water heater right there. I hope somebody's not trying to like steal it or something. But um, anyways, it's going to be interesting. We obviously look, look at this. Hmm. Where's the other half of that townhouse you bought? Oh, it's right there. That's where it is. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so wild. Ooh, that's looking rough. That little utility room. But I mean, this is obviously where the kitchen was um, because there's no kitchen. You know, the, the two bedrooms, two bathrooms are in the area that I showed you guys. This area with the cinder blocks must have been the kitchen and living area, living room. Kitchen, dining room, living room, I'm guessing. So, I mean, this looks intense. This looks like a lot, right? This looks pretty overwhelming. <laughs> you got ductwork coming out. I mean, God bless this tree, though, for picking the perfect placement. I mean, it could have literally fell between these two, um, you know, sides of the townhouse. But thank God it just fell through that side <laughs> and left us half still remaining and looking decent but um you know it's like obviously there's some major demo work we have to haul all this crap out of here um yeah <laughs> we have to haul all this out of here and then we have to frame this section and then we have to re-roof it and then we have to just completely redo the interior. But thankfully, I know a roofer, and uh, it should be should be interesting. Hold on, I'm gonna walk through with you guys again. I have to walk through this. So if if I drop the camera or if I can't show anything, it's because I'm trying to walk through cinder blocks and debris because. I'm off-roading it, man. I don't care about the off-roading. I don't care about nails, even. I care about snakes. We're in Florida. Um, but yeah, check it. Interesting. Interessante. Huh. That was just like a normal gable roof right here. We just got to come in, put that in, and build this out. They must have had glass walls. You know what? I don't like demoing glass walls anyways. So thank you, Tree and Hurricane Michael, for demoing that glass wall for me. Because it's a pain. So, yeah. There's that. <sighs> this is going to be an interesting one, you guys. A really interesting one. But like I said, thank God I know a roofer. I date him. Even better. There's a fan if anybody wants one. I have a fan for sale. But yeah. That's what we're working with. <laughs> that's, that's how she's looking. Um, so this is going to be a real process. I mean, we have to wait till the paperwork comes through until we can start everything and start changing locks. Um, and then we'll start demoing and then we of course have to tarp this so we can protect it from further damage from water and rain and stuff i mean we're kind of entering our dry season so I'm, you know it's obviously been sitting open for a really long time and had water coming in but uh thankfully these cinder blocks and such have provided a nice barricade look at a nice little barricade for the water at least thank you cinder blocks <laughs> glass half full you know what I'm standing in a pile of rubble and I still come up with a glass half full so if you're having a bad day just remember there's always something there's a glass half full to everything my friends but I will keep you guys posted on how this goes it should be pretty interesting I mean the front this is like a little screen and porch area too that obviously needs some help backyard's kind of cute I don't know if we fence it in or if they'll fence it in or I don't know. I got to get in touch with the condo association, kind of pick their brain and go back and forth with them. But yeah, this should be real interesting. I'll keep you guys posted. Let me know what you think. If you think I got a good deal, this was like $40,000. The market's crazy right now. 
So, I mean, I'm thinking if we can pay 40, well, it's probably about $41,000 with all the tax title, all that stuff. Um, or I'm sorry, just tax really, because we still need to have title work done. But uh, it's about $41,000 and I'm thinking, you know what, if we could put 40,000 into it and uh, make about 40,000 plus, I'd be pretty happy. I'd walk away a happy camper. I don't know what the timeline is on this one because we're both so busy, but yeah, it should be an interesting, interesting project. Cinder blocks, not too sure if anybody needs any, but I got some. <laughs> Look at how they held up though. Some of those stayed pretty solid, way to go. But here it is, here she is. It's, oh my God, I crack myself up the things I get myself into. It's a beautiful day though, so what a nice skylight. Look at that, look at that skylight, that sunlight, that natural light we get in here. <laughs> Always wanted a skylight. <laughs> um, yeah, but let me know what you guys think. If you think I'm nuts or if you think I'm brilliant, I always say I'm either, um, I'm either an idiot or brilliant. There's no in between on these things. It's got to be one or the other. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know what you think of this. Follow me on the journey and, uh, send your prayers. Love you. Bye.